Hey what's up YouTubers my name is Sachin and you're watching the Tech Talks. So let us have a talk on what all things are coming up in Android P. It's too early to speculate of the features that will be coming up in Android P as of now. Also it is not yet decided or it might be decided but not yet disclosed as to what the full form of P is. It can be peanut butter cookie or pancake or something else. Also we can't tell whether it is Android 9.0 or something else. Also this version is not yet stable so I would recommend not installing it on your primary devices since it might be having a lot of bugs. That's the reason why I haven't yet installed it on my phone itself. Now that being said, let's get started with some of the features of Android P. So the first update is that of indoor positioning. Android P has added platform support for Wi-Fi 802.11mc RTR also known as Wi-Fi round trip time. Now GPS doesn't work accurately when you are indoor. Might be because there are some kind of network fluctuations or your GPS is not getting the proper signals. So indoor positioning will allow your device to give you the exact location where your device is located. Now this can help you while shopping in a supermarket. Suppose that you are unable to find out where exactly a product is located in this huge supermarket. Then if at all the supermarket is having an app which takes advantage of indoor positioning then that will help you in finding the exact location of that product. Doesn't that sound cool? We hope to see developers building apps around this. The next update is that of Notch support. Notch was initially introduced by iPhone X or iPhone X. But now many Android devices are coming up with this kind of notch. So it is mandatory to provide support to this kind of devices. Now the sizes of the notch can vary depending on the screen size and also the manufacturer of the device. So Android P offers support for edge to edge screens with display cutoffs of camera and speakers. So if you are having a device which is having a notch then you can get into the developer options and select the option that says simulate a display with a cutoff. This in turn will give you 4 more options that you can see on my screen. At initial stage this might be a bit buggy since the developers need to make their apps optimized for android devices with notch support. It will gradually evolve over time and by the time android P is officially released we will be able to see a fully functional notch support across all android devices. The next update is that of notifications. Android P introduces several enhancements to notifications. Since Android 7.0, we were able to reply to messages directly from the notification tray itself. That was a great feature since it saved up some time in going all the way to the application just to reply. But we were able to see only text messages. Then be that WhatsApp or your Facebook Messenger or any kind of other messenger app. But now Android P is providing support to display images inside the notifications to which you can reply instantly. Also users can now block entire groups of channels within the notification settings for an app. The next update is that of multiple camera support. Now some of you all might be thinking that we are already having multiple cameras so what's the need of this feature? But not all devices makes the use of camera to full extent. You can now access streams simultaneously from two or more physical cameras on devices running Android P. On devices with either dual front or dual back cameras you can create innovative features not possible with just single camera such as seamless zoom and also stereo vision. Other improvements in camera include session parameters that help you to reduce delays during initial capture and surface sharing that lets camera clients handle various use cases without the need to stop and start camera streaming. Also Android P enables support for external USB and UVC cameras on supported devices. The next update is that of HDR video and HEI format. Android P adds built in support for HDR so now you can deliver HDR enabled movies to your users from YouTube, Play Movies and other sources on HDR capable devices. Android P adds support for HEF image encoding to the platform that you might have heard of on iOS devices. So HEF stands for high efficiency image file format. So in case if you are sharing images from an iPhone to an Android device then there is no conversion required to change the format to JPEG or PNG on Android devices. We are getting a native support for HEIF in Android P. Also the images will consume less amount of space and can store it better on your Android phones and accessing the images will also be seamlessly fast. Until Android 8.0 we were having apps that were asking for fingerprint impression to unlock the app or some features inside the app. But every app was having their own interface design for this fingerprint impression. But now Android P is providing support for inbuilt unified fingerprint. So now this will generate some kind of assurity that if that app is asking you for some kind of fingerprint impression then that app will be a legit app since it is verified by the Android ecosystem itself. It might take some time for Android P to be out in the market 
since as of now, that is March 2018, only 2 to 3% of Android devices are having Android Oreo. So unless you are very impatient and you are a geek and you want to try out Android P, you can download this latest update from the link given in the description below. But make sure that this update is still buggy and it might damage your phone or probably there might be some kind of unexpected behavior going on in your phone. So make sure that you are trying out at your own risk. But for the Pixel users, this update is going to be launched very soon and those are the lucky ones who get to check out Android P for the very first time. As for others, let us just keep your fingers crossed and hope that the update comes quickly. Also do let me know in the comment section below on the names you guys are thinking of for Android P. That's all for today, we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon for instant updates. Once again, this is Sachin signing off.